All right, November 6, 3.34 a.m. Reboot? Wait, what? That's Marcus. Impaired vision, corrupted mind. Yo. Corrupted audio data damaged. Ethereum pump regulator, all systems in low power mode, defective. Left and right leg components, they're broken. Replace legs. Like bloody Terminator. He looks like a like a proper serial killer right now. This is madness. Escape junkyard. This is a graveyard, not a junkyard. Jeez. Wait, we can be free. Find Jericho. Find Jericho. Find Jericho. Find optical unit. Incompatible. This is insane. 
insanely well done. scan things as well because of my optical drive. Take it. Alright, was that not one of them that we needed? Ethereum pump regulator compatible. I'm sorry. I'm turning into Iron Man. I love how, like, we've got the power now so we can, we can move correctly. We still don't have the vision, which is impairing our vision. You can see it's going blurry. The audio is because we need to fix the audio. I love how that's just the small little details like that is just so nice. Nice, we can get our vision back. Hello, I'm an AK-700 Android. I was designed to serve you. My program has detected an anomaly. Please contact me here to find the right mission. A blue and a red uh, green eye. I'm always trying to climb out and everything. Find audio processor. Oh, yes, we can scan now. Take it. Oh. You got this, Marcus.
what is he going to do now? He looks like he's about to go on a warpath. Maybe the start of the rebellion. Maybe RA9. Maybe Marcus is RA9. Oh. Um. Find Amanda. Are we in heaven? Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Your predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. The new deviants could be unpredictable, but it wasn't careful enough. I hope you won't make the same mistake. I don't intend to. Wait, are we a different- Connor model is destroyed. Its memory is transferred to the next one. But some data can be lost in the process. Avoid being destroyed. It would be better for you and the investigation. I understand. The interrogation seemed challenging. What did you think of the deviant? Traumatized. It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner as if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of him? Uh, unsure. He's obviously not what I was expecting, but I don't have enough information yet to form a definitive opinion. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? Adapt. I will adapt to his personality. It is in the best interest of the investigation that I avoid conflict and try to accommodate his psychology. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Pick up the investigation where the previous Connor left off and put a stop to this. So, he's unique. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. There's like one of him. It's not like there's multi multiple of him on the street. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Oh, shit. The fucking machine could have killed everyone in the room. Okay, so we've got to be careful now. Hey, did you take a look at these samples yet? Lab report says they cut it with something. Thanks to read. Maybe they're trying out a new red ice. Can't even read that one. You really need the forensics. I, I can't read that one. It's back to front. Oh, Anderson's here. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. <laughs> Thanks. Ongoing firefighting warehouse on Point Harbor. 
I wonder what he's going to say when he sees us. Knights of the Black Death. Thing is, though, we don't want him to know that we're snooping, right? Oh my god. Multi department unit responds for the Red Ice Network. This oh, damn. Good cow, Red Police. There he is in the middle. That's the actor that plays him as well. Pairs of a canine sent Benoit dog. Matches Jimmy's bar, wood phosphorus. Anti android slogans, we don't bleed the same color. How is my driving car 1555? I don't care. Detroit basketball cap, cotton 90%, 10% polyester, basketball. Just Detroit basketball team, right? Donuts. Calories, 452. Cold coffee, traces of caffeine. Japanese maple, Asian. Research. Detroit police dismantle a network of red ice dealers. More than 50 arrests throughout the country. Detroit's finest has dealt a massive blow to the city's growing red ice epidemic. The number of high profile dealers and suppliers now behind boys and narcotics seized with a street value of 500,000. Detective Hank Anderson, a young but hugely talented detective, is said, uh, said to have uh, been the instrumental in the operation which took months of planning. The DA described the work of Detective Anderson and his colleagues as model investigative police work. Detective Anderson promoted to the rank of lieutenant, becoming the youngest lieutenant on the Detroit Police Force. Lieutenant Hank Anderson was amongst the most decorative detective in DPD's recent history, securing a number of high profile arrests and serving as an integral member of the force Captain Fowler said the promotion was long overdue, describing Anderson as among the most talented police I've ever worked with. The new lieutenant is expected to rise quickly through the ranks of department and is already being tipped as a future commissioner. New record, Caesar of Red Ice in Detroit. Nearly a ton of red ice discovered in the hold of a boat after a long investigation conducted by Lieutenant Anderson of the Detroit Police Department. It sounds way too good to be true, this, doesn't it? It sounds way too good to be true. Hello, Lieutenant. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. God, I saw you get shot in the head last night. <laughs> My predecessor was unfortunately destroyed, but Cyberlife transferred its memory and sent me to replace it. This incident should not affect the investigation. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Hank, in my office. Enter and listen in. Explore the office. Ah, let's enter. I've got ten new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now... We're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. But I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! 
The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold them the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way. I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Ugh. I'm very pleased to have joined the team. I can assure you I'll do my very Close best. Close the door on your way out. <laughs> Have a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Connor's great. Oh, he's great. <clears throat> okay, let's have a look around and see if there's anything else we can do as well. It's the meeting room. Look at that. A fucking ghost. <laughs> His clone ends up in the dumpster, but this morning, what do you know? Now the son of a bitch takes his place. Hello. I'm Connor. <laughs> Introduce. Hello. My name is Connor. <laughs> Never seen an android like you before. Model are you? RK-800. I'm a prototype. A prototype? Android detective. So machine's gonna replace us all. Is that it? Hey, bring me a coffee, dipshit. Get a move on! Okay. Why not? There's always one asshole, isn't there? He's <laughs> just holding out his coffee like he's like, are you gonna take it or what? That was great. Several sources report that Cyberlife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have existed for several years now, this would be the first case of an android being authorized to play an active role in criminal investigations. We contacted Cyberlife for comment, but no one was available to answer our questions. The first book written by an artificial intelligence has just been published, and to call it a success would be an understatement. Damn. Do humans dream of mammalian sheep has shot to the top of the bestseller list. Moreover, critics are unanimous in their praise to the depth of thought and the dictionary of the first What? Designed by Cyberlife. What are you looking at? Hmm. Hey, fuck you. What happens if I just keep staring at him? <laughs> I have a feeling, you know, that Connor is going to investigate the, um, He's going to investigate, what's it called? Oh. Okay. Good to know. Um, I think he's going to investigate Cora. I think he's going to be the one that's tracking down Cora. And maybe, maybe, maybe Marcus. Well, I, I highly think so, actually, with Marcus. 
And Cora's kind of like in between. So I think we've got two like two sides to the story with a bridge between them both. Commission January 2035. Three years ago. Hi, Hank. I understand the destruction of my predecessor may have been unpleasant for you, Lieutenant. I'll do everything I can to make sure it doesn't happen again. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. Oh, it's the one with no name on it. The one we couldn't... Ah. Uh, basketball anti androids. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering is there any reason in particular you despise me? Yeah, there is one. What? <laughs> I feel like every conversation I'm going to have with him here, I don't think he's going to like it. There's look, those music, basketball. If I talk to him about this stuff, like... Oh, uh, let's just try, try it. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? Oh, actually. Dog hairs on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Oh. Sumo. Oh, never mind. Call him Sumo. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh, when we went in. Oh. Sorry. Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. <laughs> He's it's gonna punch us. Energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. He's gonna punch us, Fowler. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah, too long. I was wondering, do you always arrive at the office at this time? Oh, I should not have asked that time. I arrive when I arrive. Should not have asked Stop that one. Stop busting my balls, okay? If you have any files on deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminals on your desk. Knock yourself out. All right. Case reference disappearance. Victim Gordon Lopez, uh, reporting officer. Uh, assigned was Lieutenant Anderson. The still open involving an android, yes. The plaintiff reports that he left his ha and, uh, android, android at home as usual when he went to work. When he returned, the android was nowhere to be found. No trace of a break-in in the uh, apartment. The android may have left the home without being ordered to. Okay, so reference attack Charles Bell. The plaintiff claims to have been attacked by AV500. Model number 2347778281. Model Android working as a waiter in the Fast Corny Dogs restaurant chain situated at 8482 Chamberlain Avenue. The plaintiff claims the Android lunged at him unexpectedly and attempted to strangle the man before leaving the scene. The Android remains at large. Wait. That's not the guy who's thing he's with, isn't it? 
What was his name? I can't remember his name. The one that Cora's with. The plaintiff claims to have been attacked by her android, uh, an AP700 model. The android also trashed several rooms in the house before taking flight. The plaintiff, the manager of the Eden Club. Oh, Eden Club, that's a name we've seen before. We pointed an unexplained disappearance of a sex android, model number WR400. The android disappeared after accompanying a customer to, to his home and never returned to the club. Destroyed. Famous, oh, here we go. This is Marcus. Famous painter Carl Manfred was found dead in his home following an alteration between his android and his son. The latter witness statement uh, uh, attests to the android behavior violently. The android is thought to be a prototype unknown model number and serial number and was destroyed at the scene by attending officers. Oh, so Marcus was a different model. <gasps> Cora. The victim's body was found by a friend who came by to say hello. He immediately called the emergency service at 842 who recorded deaths by a gunshot wound. The murder weapon may have belonged to the victim. His Android X, uh, AX400 was not found on the scene and is the main suspect. Damn. 243 files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX400 is reported to have murdered a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. I understand you're facing personal issues, Lieutenant. But you need to move past them, and- Hey, don't talk to me like you know me. I'm not your friend, and I don't need your advice, okay? I feel like I'm speaking, into, speaking to him all the time, like I'm so- Yeah. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Uh, Lieutenant? I'm sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX400 that killed the guy last night. <laughs> it's been sighted in the Ravendale district. Wait. I'm on it. AX4, that's Kara. Oh, we're actually hunting Kara. November 6th. We're still in there. Still alive. Revive fire. Let's do that. Find some wood. Oh, Detroit today. Cyber wildlife. First android zoo. Bloody hell. Cyber wildlife. Cyber life is set to open the first android zoo in Los Angeles which will exhibit all exotic species to have become extinct in the last 30 years. Loot turtles, polar bears, mountain gorillas, African elephants, and several species of tiger will be amongst the high-profile attractions. Cyberlife, or CSR spokeswoman, Danielle Carnie, Carnegie, said the zoo uh, caters to people of all ages and has a special mission to educate and inspire the younger generation about the importance of protecting our fragile environments. 
Through some environmentalists have claimed the zoo will diminish popular concern for the extinction of real animals. It's difficult not to, in, uh, to be enthusiastic about technology being used to recreate vanished species. The animals themselves have yet to be unveiled, but Cyberlife promises they will be more real than the real thing. No doubt an ideal weekend trip for the family. Canada. Where the air is clean and the welcome is always warm. Discover landscape. Maybe Canada? Despite the United States voting its Android Act of early as 2028, the Canadian Parliament has yet again pushed back its decision on whether to permit Androids in the country. As a result of Androids are still not sold in Canada and have no official status in the country. Oh, so it's Android free. With Androids continuing to fuel the unprecedented growth in the US economy, yet contribute, uh, contributing to the record levels of unemployment, the arguments for and against putting them on sale in Canada rages on. But for the time being, at time being, Canada remains an Android free zone. Damn. Under what he's, I wonder if he's still in here. Oh, he's not. Where is he? Bird, watch, money. We're not going to steal that. Has he killed a bird? Change appearance, cut her. Are oh, we going to cut her? Oh, there's some wood in the box there. Oh, we've already read that. Can I use the wire cutters to cut my hair? I know it sounds stupid, but... What am I going to use to cut my hair? I, f I feel like why is this I did read everything on this right because why is it still highlighted if not if not yeah we did wait didn't she go to bed with the toy why is the toy on the table if she snuggled up to it at night Oh.
That's where we cut the yard. I, did, I didn't think we could go up the stairs. It was it was saying blocked. That was quick, wasn't it? Blonde, white, black finish. Uh, let's go white. Let's try brown. We can go with blonde. Oh boy. Kind of suits that hurt. Huh? Wait, what's in here? Uh. Officers sweeping the neighborhood in case anybody saw anything. Okay, well, let me know if they turn anything up. What are you gonna do with that? I have no idea. So what do we got here? Bus driver saw it at 2 30. Stolen clothes from a laundromat. Seen at a convenience store. It stole wire cutters. But there must be a reason. Wire cutters? What the fuck are you talking about? I checked the CCTV while you were questioning the clerk. The android was caught on camera stealing them. It had wire cutters, and it was looking for a place to hide. So, what's your conclusion, Sherlock? Oh, shit. Maybe it didn't go far. the little girl <laughs> it's good for her a present to make up for past misunderstandings <laughs> Ralph will cook we will do just like humans do humans like burnt meat <laughs> come come and sit down <laughs> that's very kind of you Ralph but we have to go go <laughs> no, you will go once the little girl is eaten. Uh, we will eat together, just like a family. You know, the father, the mother, and the little girl. <laughs> no, Ralph. We're leaving now. Come on, Alice. The little girl's going nowhere. Humans don't eat that, Ralph. No! Humans eat dead animals. I know that. Okay. We'll eat together. Like a family. <laughs> this guy's lost it. That's better. Ralph went to a lot of trouble to find something for the little girl to eat. It wouldn't be polite for her to refuse. Would it? Who needs to put the knife away, I swear. Secret? <laughs> Suck 
succulent. You'll see. Succulent. I think he's the cops are coming as well. <laughs> Father, mother, little girl. Please, Car. I don't want to eat that. What did she say? She said she can't wait to eat it. She's very hungry. The little human is not going to regret it. <laughs> Ralph found the best, the biggest one he could find. <laughs> this is going to be succulent. Succulent. <laughs> I don't want to shoot him because then, Go you know, the cops outside are going to hear it, aren't they? Hey. This girl's going to be traumatized by men. I saw the body upstairs. You killed that human, didn't you? No. No, he was like that when Ralph found him. You killed that man, Ralph. There's no point in lying. You hate humans, but you're just like them. You're a murderer. Ralph didn't mean any harm. Grab the knife. No. It's just that... When his anchor comes, Ralph doesn't know what he's doing. He, he becomes stupid. Full of hatred. Ralph is sorry. He just wanted to be your friend. Then let us go. Anybody home? Oh, now we're playing as Connor. There's blue blood on the fence. I know another android was here. Ralph scratched himself coming through. That's Ralph's blood. Are there any other androids here? Other androids? No. Ralph is alone. I'm looking for an AX-400. Have you seen it? Ralph's seen nobody. Be afraid. I'm not going to hurt you. Damn. The thing is, though, is do I meta and know that they're there and then try and force it out of him? Or do I play each individual character as I would if I was role playing? I feel like that's the best way to go, right? I feel like every time I switch to a character, I've got to play as that character and not know what car it is or it doing there. To see how that story intertwines with each other. stress level. His stress level's going up when I go near the uh, near the kitchen. Is anyone upstairs? No. If I go upstairs. No, Oh, I can't go upstairs. I was wondering if I could t if I could discover the body.
Do I double check upstairs? I don't think I can. Yeah, I can't. Androids don't need heat. Um, uh, uh. Androids don't eat meat. Connor, what the hell are you doing in there? Coming, Lieutenant. Well, we didn't find him. Like, I'm going to guess he was upstairs. Wait, how do I... Oh yeah, change the camera angle, right? Oh, I can't go out the door. Wait, where do I go then? I, I, I don't know where to go. I can't go upstairs. Run quicker! Connor, what's going on? It's here! Call it in! Which way did it go? That way. They're headed for the train station. Oh, boy. I've got to play it as I will play Connor. I'm not metering. They're over there. Hey, where are you going? I can't let them get away. They won't. And never make it to the other side. I can't take that chance. Now you will get yourself killed. Do not go after him, Connor. That's an order. Jesus. I had to stick to the orders. 